What's up everybody, Ryan the Guy here. Today's video we're going to be looking at how to set up an oil drilling platform. So I've already got a base set up. I'm just going to do a simple uh, tutorial on just how to get you started. So let's go ahead and let's get right into it. So if you're going to use one of these bases, um, you're going to want to have your table right in the middle. So I just use this the line in the middle of symmetry to kind of set stuff up. So this isn't going to be a fully functional drilling platform, but I'm going to show you basically how to get it set up real quick. So I was, I've been using these tracks. Get some of them set down. I think that's enough. Two of these. Make sure you lock them together. We need our oil, the drill connector. So there's the black part of this connector needs to be down. So there's that. And you can see that it's on the big red line. So that's cool. I don't want that. I want that. Just Come on. <clears throat> the next thing you want to do is you're going to want to build up. I'm just going to do, I'm just going to do one rod for now. So we're going to do this. Actually, we're going to do one more of those. No, we're not. We're going to do it just like that. And grab a rod. Um, I'm going to place two down. So you're going to want to, if you build it the way that I'm going to show you how to build it, you're going to want these a space apart. Or else the, um, this thing. Whatever that's called. What's that called? The clamp. It won't we spin this around if the rods are side by side like exactly a block apart or a block next to each other um, it won't go in and grab the rod it'll just bounce off the other two rods that are on either side of it so I want those a block apart uh, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna build and you can do this however you want this is just how I'm doing it but Oops. Let's see. I don't want to do that. I want to do it this way. So we're going to come out here. I'm going to build off right about there, I think. Stop. Thank you. And then tracks. Look and make sure that's how I want that. Yeah, that'll work for now. This I'm going to use three of these tracks. I'm going to turn symmetry off so that they're all going the same direction. And merge these guys together. Now with that, you can grab some more tracks and go off of this so I think actually what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna build grab two of these turn that around two of these actually we'll try that first Merge these together. I might have to add, let's add a couple more tracks out here. Actually, I think that'll be just fine. Yeah, no, actually, I don't need that one. So what we're going to do here is throw a block down and grab our clamp. 
and then you want the up or the positive arrow up. So now what that's going to do, actually I do want another one of these. I think. Now let's try it first. So that's going to come out and grab I don't know if that's going to be enough tracks. We might have to add another set of tracks. Actually, let's just do that now. We'll add another set of tracks on these tracks. We'll merge these together. Tracks. And we'll put our clamp on that. So that's going to grab the come out and grab the rod. And then you can move move it over and put it in your um, your clamp here or your oil head. So let's grab a battery real quick. Battery. I'm not going to worry about generators or anything in this video, so. Okay, so we got all of that. Now we need to add, need more tracks. Need to add for our, okay, that's not going to be tall enough. You want this to be taller than your rods. So we'll put it about there ish no we'll go two more and then we'll add our tracks two tracks on this is enough merge those together and then we're going to grab our swivel um actually i'm gonna have to do that and then grab our swivel that and then on top of this goes and I'll show you how to do it in another video so this is your pump when you find oil you have to push this up and down to pump the oil out I'm not gonna mess with that in this video um, if you guys want me to cover that leave me a comment and uh, I'll see what I can do so that's gonna be your swivel that's where your slurry comes out of, so you'll need slurry in, slurry out. Um, you'll have to place a slurry filter down here, make a tank for slurry. You also need a water tank, because um, the slurry filter requires water. But So this is the basic setup right now, so what we need to do is just throw down some... I'm just going to use toggle switches, because... Like I said, I'm just, in this video, I'm just showing you how to get the rods to the table, basically. Actually, my rods need to be taller. Now, I'll hook up the, the rod up and down in the clamp. So, toggles. So, we'll set up the head first, because I want to make sure it'll go out far enough. So I want one toggle for that, and I actually want two push buttons. This will be right and left. So, rod clamp. Oh. Um, I'm going to do this left. Gonna be right. And then this one's going to be on off. So we'll get this hooked up. So I know that right on these tracks is gonna be up. And then left is gonna be down. Okay, so we also need two um, 
that'll be for in and out. And then we'll do an indicator. So, oops. Out. In. And then connected. So <clears throat> out is going to be up on these. And then connected is going to go straight to our indicator. In is going to be down. And then we need our on. So there's that. So let's get all this electricity hooked up so we can test it and make sure it's actually going to clamp a rod. Yeah, let's, uh, we're going to spawn this in and try it. So on, and then right, out. So let's go look at this. Okay, so we need one more track. Or I can move these one block this way. But I think for this video, I'm just going to add another track. So let's uh, take this here and we can just real quickly I think we can just add a track to this guy and that won't yeah that should be just fine so that'll get that out so we need to set up our up and down so I'll grab I'm gonna grab that yeah so swivel head up and we're going to copy that um, swivel head down and swivel head lock I'm not going to do an indicator for that because you can actually hear when the swivel locks so Back to here, and we'll hook up this stuff. I do toggle switches on the swivel so I don't have to sit there and hold it. I can just push the button, and it, it does its own thing. Go ahead and hook this up, too. So data up is going to be down. Down is going to be up. And then clamp rod. It's going to be our swivel lock, just like that. So we'll go ahead and try that, make sure that's going to be good. Ah, stuck. Make sure we can clamp our rod. So down, down, up is up. Sweet. Okay, so I'm Pretty confident the swivel is going to work. Let's go and out, out. So that should clamp the rod. Oh yeah, okay. So that'll clamp the rod. So what we'll do now is I need to make the rod up and down in the clamp head work. And what I'm going to do for that is just switch boxes and um, constant numbers. So we'll grab a switch box. You want two of those. Do it like this. And then constant numbers. And this one's going to be... I'm going to do 0.5 on these because one is way too fast. 
logic. This one's going to go to our on on that one. This one's going to be our on on this one. We, okay, so we also need an add. So both of these are going to go into our add. And then this number is going to go to our clamp. So now we just need... Uh, I think these are push buttons. And these should actually be over there with our clamp, but rod clamp up. Rod clamp down. And we'll do two more. Those are for up and down, and then we need two toggles. Did I grab toggles? Yep. Okay, so this is... Um, we're going to call it a holder. Now we'll call it a connector. Connector lock. Connect rod. Rod connector up. Rod connector down. So this was our lock. Lock. And then this is our connect, disconnect rod. Up, which is going to be down. And then down, which is going to be up. All right. So now these, so up is going to be our positive number. Down is going to be our negative number. So let's get some electricity on this and make sure everything works. Before I forget, um, the turntable, how I make that work is... I just hook a motor up to it and I use a constant number and I use a relay and I'll hook one electric up to the motor, the other electric up to the battery and then I'll just have a toggle switch that says swivel on off or a turn turntable on off and then when you push the button it'll it connects power to the motor and the table starts to turn. So that's literally how I do that. It's pretty simple. But all right, let's get this in here and make sure everything is working correctly. Pretty confident that it will. So, clamp, right, um, out, connected, rod in. Now I should be able to go left and get that. We need to go in some more. There we go. Left. A little bit more left. Turn our rod connector on. There it goes. Turn this one off. Clamp all the way in. And then, yeah. We just... That's the wrong button. Down. And then that'll connect. And then you use the swivel head to push that down so just do that there it goes turn off your connector lock seems like uh oh okay so it's already in the um drill head which is under here when you get to this base this drill head's already here so you can just uh, start building the platform and you're good to go. So right now, if this had uh, slurry and water and um, everything else that you, that's required for drilling, I could start drilling right now. But what's going on with my... Oh, there it goes. Nope, still confused. 
it's whatever. Anyway, so I hope this video helps somebody. Um, if it did, like, subscribe, leave me a comment, anything else you want to see, and with all that, I'll see you all in the next one.